Golfers, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about three drills that you can implement within your practice to prevent your inside takeaway. So the first part of this video, something I've always struggled with within my golf swing is a club head really getting it inside the hands early on in the backswing. The club face gets severely open, we get a little bit stuck in the backswing, results in a steep downswing path. So if you're this golfer, when you do that, you're going to move the golf ball inside your golf ball's target line in the backswing. The main objective here is you're trying to push the golf ball back in a straight line. So place an adjacent golf ball running behind the one you're trying to hit and then you're trying to push that one back in a straight line. That's going to sort out your takeaway. The first drill that we talked about at the first part of this video is place a golf ball directly behind the one you're trying to hit. And the main objective here is you're trying to push the golf ball back in a straight line. That's going to allow the club head to stay outside the hands in the backswing, but also enable you to create more space. Drill number two is what you're going to do is you're just going to make left-handed swings only. You're going to place your right hand in close proximity to your right pocket. As you swing the club back left-handed, you're just going to join your right hand to the golf club. That's simultaneously going to allow you to keep the club head outside the hands on the way back and connect your takeaway in a better sequence. So this is an additional drill that coincides with part one and two of this video. If you struggle with severely inside takeaway, the club head really severely gets inside the hands too early on due to too much forearm rotation. If you're this golfer, you're going to place another club underneath your left foot. So the shaft and the additional club is almost connected to your right shin. If you swing the club back inside, you'll soon feel that club dig in to the club selected next to your shin. So if you swing the club inside, the shaft of the golf club underneath your left foot, you'll feel it right on your shin. The main objective here is we're trying to feel like we missed that golf club that we're standing underneath. So two great feelings from here, you're trying to let the club head work outside the hands a little bit earlier. So you're hinging the club up a little bit earlier, you're feeling like your thumbs are going to the sky, that's going to allow the club head to work a little bit more above the hands, and that's going to help you create a little bit more space in the backswing. 